Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus at the foundation, please? Five of Pentacles at the foundation. This Five of Pentacles has been coming up a lot today, Taurus. That's also your energy. There's an, o there's an energy here of having overcome tremendous losses in your life, Taurus. Right there, true stability, your foundation. This is also an energy of a mindset, right? A mindset that causes you to build a foundation that's not stable, right? It's built off of a lack of self-confidence. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy at the sacral. This is an energy of struggling and just not able to really commit to anything. This very much is the energy of a lack mentality. This is somebody who is lacking self-confidence. I feel as though, Taurus, these are projections, though. These aren't who you really are. These are things that were projected onto you to keep you functioning out of a space of lack, not seeing your true potential in life. This is an energy here of not realizing your true potential because individuals around you want to keep you small. There's a very pessimistic energy on this table right now. I feel as though this is what you're leaving behind, Taurus. The lovers. Is that one card? Okay, yeah. The lovers. Gemini energy at the solar plexus. This is an energy of balance now. An energy of harmony. This is you aligning with your values. It's an energy of union. You really calibrating with your divinity. Who you are. After overcoming... A horrendous obstacle here in your life, Taurus. This is a story. This is somebody who's overcome or is overcoming obstacles which leads them directly into the arms of their divinity, otherwise known as your purpose, your north node position in life. It's all pretty much the same. They all work in tandem. This is just you getting to where where God always intended you to be in this life, Taurus, your allocated position in this universe, functioning inside of your purpose. This is a very confident, controlled energy. This is all about your personal power. See, now the energy is picking up. I can feel it. It was very slow and draining back here. Now it's picking up. This is you disarming your enemies, the individuals who came up against you, bullied you, tried to steal your divinity away from you. How does one steal another's divinity away from them? Well, projects self-doubt onto an individual, which causes them to have a lack of faith. It's almost an energy of them wanting you to be mad at God. It's a very mentally abusive energy I'm picking up on here. This has been a pattern in your life, Taurus, or it was. Individuals that come into your life and they kind of hold the same, they hold the same energy signature. Godless types of individuals. I feel like you've started to see this pattern. You're starting to see that quite possibly it's the same evil spirit that jumps from body to body. This could be people you dated, co-workers, family members. It's just an energy in the universe that wants to keep you stuck and away from you aligning with your divinity. They want you functioning out of a very bitter and hateful space. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag energy at the throat. This is the energy you're encompassing now. This is someone who's taken leadership over their life. Now attracting all this new energy into your life because you've released this old lackluster, lack mentality energy out of your life. 
Knight of Wands at the third eye in reverse. This is the energy you've released. This very reckless energy. Very scattered energy, right? It's like a scattered, reckless energy. It's all about delays and frustration. Very chaotic energies that were in your life. If these were people you dated, there was something here around some sort of uh, sexual manipulation, like sexual excess, right? To keep you trapped. Relationships that were always based in toxic intimacy, right? And this exists. You know, when the whole relationship is built off of sex, you know, sexual excess, this is, you know, as we get older, we start to realize this is a byproduct of the devil to keep you stuck. There should be a nice balance to everything, right? You know, these are the kinds of relationships where when you're not in these intimate encounters with this individual, you're just fighting. The only time you seem to get along but barely get along, is during intimacy. This kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. This was illuminated to you by the divine, that this was some sort of karmic cycle, some sort of karmic patterning you were stuck in. It really is an energy of lack, because there's something about that, that moment you had with that individual, that made you feel accepted, which was something I feel was projected onto you in a younger age that caused you to function out of this space. Knight of Cups at the crown. And see, here's the thing, Taurus. Once you start to break these patterns and you heal yourself from this, then the real love comes in. Knight of Cups at the crown, right? This is a very emotional, loving, caring energy. This is the real stuff, the real romance. I feel as though a lot of your relationships have been built off of some sort of physical intimacy. This is all changing now, Taurus. You're entering a totally new cycle in your life. What do we have at the foundation, please? Strength, vine. This is like strength in reverse. This is an energy of weakness. It's an energy of disgrace and fear. It's an energy of discord. This really encompasses what I've been picking up on here. It's like a self-sabotaging energy. Self-sabotaging through intimate or toxic connections. It could be toxic friendships too, right? Toxic relationships you keep with people where you're always meant to feel small. What do we have at the sacral? Justice, Astaroth. This is like justice in reverse. This is an energy of not seeing the truth. It's an energy of shame. and It's a very dishonest energy. Not taking accountability. Remaining in the same old cycles over and over and over again. You recognized all this, Taurus. You had some sort of illumination around all this and decided you wanted to grow past all of this, however this shows up for you. And you saw that you were going to have to go it alone. The individuals around you were never meant to go with you. Five of Cups. Aim. Cancer energy. And here they are. Taurus. Floating around on their narcissistic snakes, right? See, they got that peg in their hand right there. They jam that into your heart and pierce a hole. Then they throw those snakes at you and suck back high vibrational narcissistic supply, right, to nourish them. This person you're dealing with could have a mustache, wispy hair, kind of a hairy chest, male or female, doesn't matter on the hairy chest and the mustache and the little goatee. Kind of some weird big feet, right? And I feel like they might smoke. Look, they got a smoke in their left hand. They might even have a cat, right? Cat's always sitting on them. Could have some pointy ears too and kind of like a pointy nose. Kind of points down a little bit, right? This is this individual or individuals or however this shows up for you. They don't have supply anymore, Taurus, now that you've removed yourself. And because of this, it's like the demon, the spirit that's inside of them, 
is leaving. It's going to take up residency somewhere else. So it leaves them in this empty, hollowed out state of ex existence. You really see the stain that the demon has left behind, right? The demon leaves an imprint of themselves, right? This person starts to look like a demon. It's just a lot of illumination here as you're stepping into alignment with your divinity. What do we have at the heart, please? <sighs> Anil, breaking the circle, two of swords, Libra energy. And then we have Phoenix, fraud and misrepresentation, which is the Queen of Cups in reverse from the occult tarot. So this individual here, could have some sort of, um, well, the, uh, Queen of Cups in reverse is like an energy of codependency. It can also be somebody who's a drug addict. Drugs, alcohol. Whenever I see this, it's like a, uh, a peacock on crack, right? This is somebody who misrepresents themselves. They're a fraud. This person has zero confidence, right? They're very, very emotionally insecure and codependent, but they paint themselves like they're something they're not. I feel like this person never shuts the F up, Taurus. It's one of these people, right? You just want to look at it and say, do we shut the F up? It's just somebody who always is talking and everything that comes out of their mouth is just complete psychobabble. They never shut up about other people in their life to keep the focus off of them. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with that Phoenix. I'm picking up. We have cancer here. I am picking up on low vibrational cancer energy in this reading. Doesn't have to be though. This is the energy you're moving into. Two of Swords, Anil, Libra energy, breaking the circle. Whenever I see this, it's like somebody who's carved themselves out of this karmic cycle by, re by realizing their potential, right? This is somebody who's made the decision to move forward and put themselves into alignment with their divinity. They're not confused about who they are anymore. This person knows exactly who they are and what it is they're supposed to do in this lifetime. This is somebody who's realized their purpose in the midst of all this chaos. Two of Pentacles, Poyeo. God who supports the universe, fortune and fame, fulfills any request. This is you adapting to your new life very quickly, Taurus overcoming this disorder, this instability, no more financial issues, no more scattered energy. This is you showing up to yourself and your divinity. This is somebody who's dropped to a knee to pay their respects to God and the divine, and they come with offerings. Now's a good time to put out your offerings, Taurus, during the new moon. What do we have at the third eye? Five of Wands. God listening in concealment. Politics and ambition wins judgments and protects all those who seek the truth. This is an energy of harmony. This is an energy of success. This is the energy you're moving into now, Taurus. Leo energy, Capricorn energy with that two of pentacles. What do we have with the crown? Wow. And there he goes, Taurus, shuffling off, right? All you have to do is see who he truly is, right? The devil's a coward. Seduction and downfall communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic. Taurus. This is you realizing who the devil or who the devils are in your life. The devil also shows up as karmic patterning that you're living out in your life that's been projected onto you. 
learned behavioral patterns. These are all byproducts of the devil. This is you realizing what's been taking place here. And this is you transmuting this and giving this back to the universe, stepping into your power, realizing your fullest potential in this lifetime, Taurus. All right, Taurus. We're going to go ahead and leave that right there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, Taurus, if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.